Okay, let's talk briefly about the three speeches at the end of level two. The first one is an interview of another person in class telling their story. At the end of level one, you told your story with, at, with the beginning, a middle, and an end. This one's a little different. You will tell their story with three points. Past, present, and future. So your outline will start with these three points. You'll interview them. All the information you get from them will fit into one of these three points. At the end of your speech, you will let your audience know it's the end of your speech by saying their name. So you'll present them to the class by name. We're not using an opening attention getter yet. We talked about those in chapter two. Those will come into play later on, but not yet. So you'll come up, introduce yourself by name, their by name if you want, tell about their past, present, future, and introduce them by name. Sharing appropriate information and taking one minute at least one minute of time. The second speech is also an interview of, of another student. Now in this idea of zombie survival, in level one, you want to be non-threatening so you don't get shot by the other survivors. You can do that by telling a joke, sharing a quote, an interesting story about yourself. Now that you haven't been shot, you want to be incorporated into the group and help others be incorporated into the group, and you do that by sharing personal information. Past, present, future. Here's my story briefly, a minute, maybe two minutes. The second speech will be a problem solution speech. So your first point will be a problem, your second point will be how they solved that problem. When you've interviewed them and found there's a problem and a solution, you tighten that up where you can share it quickly, get the point across. Then you go back to chapter two and you find an attention getter that would be an appropriate way to get into this problem discussion. Uh, maybe this is a very common problem, so I can find a statistic that shows how many people in the United States share this problem, a magnitude. Or perhaps uh, it makes me think of a quote by somebody, and so I'll begin with a quote. Or I shared this problem too, so let me share a personal story of how I dealt with this problem, and then I will talk about how the other person dealt with the problem and solved it. Present them by name within 30 seconds. So the time frame is between 30 seconds and a minute. If you have an attention getter, a problem, and a solution that all average about 10 seconds apiece, you've got 30 seconds, you're in your window. It's the idea of a quick commercial that sells this person as a problem solver, a person of value that you would want to incorporate into your group. The last speech in level two is not an interview speech but it is still about someone else. Someone who has impacted your life in some way. So the outline pattern is cause effect. And so you'll have the cause, which will be that person's story. The effect, which will be the effect on your life. Those will be the center, center pieces or your main point. You'll have an opening attention getter, which is a quote either by this person or that makes you think about this person. If I'm doing uh, my grandfather, I could say, my grandfather always said, and that would be a quote from him. Or here's a quote from Benjamin Franklin, and that makes me think about my grandfather because. So either of those work. And this person can be someone you know, like your grandfather, your mother, a coach, teacher, someone who's had a direct impact on your life, or someone who's had a more indirect impact. A favorite author, J.K. Rowling. After I read the Harry Potter series, I just thought of myself differently. 
and how being picked on was very different for Harry Potter and for me, and I identified with him. Or Maya Angelou is my favorite poet, and she changed the way I see the world. It can be, um, it doesn't even have to be a real person. It could be a historic person like Benjamin Franklin, um, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Plato. It could be an imaginary person like Superman or a Captain America. I've always admired these people and want to live with those kinds of characteristics and morals. Or it could be something even very superficial. Um, I remember the first time I saw a Batman movie and I was just intrigued by all the gadgets that he had. And so I became a person that was obsessed with gadgets and the latest electronics and technology. Some effect on your life. Uh, one of the new elements is I want to know how you feel about this person by your voice. So we don't have a lot of delivery issues, but here's where we put one in. If you admire that person, I want to hear admiration, respect. If it's your mother, I would like to hear love and affection. Um, it might be hate. I had a person once that talked about um, her drill sergeant in the army, and she hated that person. That person seemed to pick on her all the time. But even though that's a negative emotion, there was a positive outcome. She wanted to prove to him that she was better than he thought and she became a better soldier. I had a young lady who had been in an abusive relationship and you could feel there was a very negative emotion that she felt toward her ex-husband. But because of the interaction with him, she left him, decided to improve her lifestyle, become independent, come back to college, and had a better life than she probably would have before meeting him. So it was a negative emotion, but she shared a positive outcome. So uh, I want to feel that emotion. And then the other thing that's new to this speech is it will close with an attention getter. It can be another quote like the first one, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a story or a, a statistic, uh, or something else that you end with out of chapter two. So those are the basic speeches in level two. Uh, we will add on to those things as we move into level three. So these are things you all, you need to learn well and make sure you get.